Okay, we call this project bleeding tissue. So we are going to start with a paper. We've got a cup of water and a paintbrush. And we've got some tissue paper squares that we've cut up. And this is bleeding tissue. There's two types of tissue. One bleeds and one does not. This is the one that bleeds. And let me show you what I mean by bleeding. So you're going to take a piece and you're going to put it down on your paper and hold it there. And get your paintbrush with some water on it and push that paintbrush down onto the tissue almost like you're painting the tissue onto the paper. Okay? And we want it really nice and wet so that it sticks to the paper. And then we're going to leave it there. We're going to let it dry. It takes probably about 15 or 20 minutes to dry. So we're going to get, we're going to take this off after. I'll probably take this off and the next time your paper will be ready to work with because we're going to turn these into those pretty eggs that we saw in the video um, for our Easter project. So you're just going to add squares and they can be touching and you're going to paint water on top of those squares. And just keep adding squares. So you'll put one over here, add some water to stick it down. Okay. And it's okay if they're touching, it's okay if the colors mix too. That actually makes it look pretty. Okay, and you want to fill up as much of the paper as possible. I'm not going to spend all my time doing my paper. I already have an example on the board for you, but that's how we do bleeding tissue. And when it dries, these papers are going to fall off and they're going to leave this beautiful color. And I really think you're going to like it. Have fun!